Sometimes these guys have things. Let me just double check. Rat cages, rat stew. Wrong. That's right. Eat all your food because it's over for you. It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back in all the mod six ladies and gentlemen thanks for coming to hang out with me today look at what we've accomplished thumbs up for accomplishments hey guys make sure if you like this video don't forget smash that thumbs up button and show your support if you're new and you have fun subscribe for more and thank you guys all so very much for all your support here on youtube on twitch and on patreon i just wanted to take a second to say thank you i appreciate it very very much so in the last episode we went over or we did some stuff and things over here and we got this bad ombre up and running so i did a little bit more work on it added some windows floors and ceilings is tops and bottoms um and it is very uh well it's becoming a thing it's becoming a thing for sure um, on Friday night stream, we started working on a couple of other things, basically just focusing on growing some different essences. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do uh, with mystical agriculture, and getting essence up and running uh, is something that we needed. Now, the funny thing was is that we had tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of essence, because we had this whole system set up over here, right? All these guys were set up with the Inferium farmland and Inferium seeds, but it wasn't working fast enough. And so, wham, this guy over here was created. Supremium farmland, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five lily pads of fertility, which I do believe we could put even more down. Uh, and then we started to use this guy as well, the Supremium watering can. And look at how fast this guy creates essence. It is going at the speed of essence fast essence i guess uh we have all that going over here into our ender chest i tried importing and i, I moved around a couple of my um my builders uh and i tried importing everything into the quantum entangle porter but i was having trouble with it getting backed up so i d just kind of backed up i backed up <laughs> over to the ender chests and we're using those and that's inputting everything into the system just fine uh we did move the collector back a block like i said i was going to do in the last episode and now this is working great now uh what i did was afk in this area pretty much for the entire weekend uh, over and over, I kept coming back in. Well, each night, Friday night, I came in and I relogged. You think you got what it takes? Stupid dumb rats everywhere. Freaking vermin Every. Sorry about that, guys. There's a little vermin over there. So, uh, AFK'd the entire weekend and bam, 1.1 million. 1.1 million essence. And not only that, but I already transferred or, or uh, changed over 44,000 of that into Prudentium by clicking the button manually. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, clicking the button manually. I was going like this. Let's go ahead and grab our infusion stone and then go like this, like so. Uh, and then I would go over to make sure my dank's turned on. I think this is loud. Ow, loud. Anyway, and I did that for a, a long, long time and got a bunch of our essences in the system like so. So, yeah, we're good to go with that for now. And actually, to be honest with you, 1.1 Inferium Essence isn't necessarily going to mean that we have, like, that this is all we're going to need. It's crazy how much it costs to get up to the Insanium, really, is what we've been working on doing, Insanium stuff and things. Now, why did we do that? Well, mostly for seeds. So let me show you this. The All the Modium right here. This is what I wanted to get into, all the Modium seeds. Now, in the Infusion Altar we showed you last time, you needed Insanium blocks, four of them, to make one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, one All the Modium seed. Uh, so if we want to get a lot of those guys going... It's going to take a lot of essence, and that's why we did all this. Now, right over here, you'll see all the modium seed. Just one. I had one going in the system for the entire weekend. Now, how much of the all the modium essence did we make with that one seed over the two days? So let's take a look inside of here. All the modium. Now, I already transferred this as well. Changed over a few of these guys. But we have 4,000 of these bad numbers. If I go like that, does that make a block? No. So we can do like so and go ahead and, well, we might as well just do them all. Switch those guys all over and then how much do we end up with? A thousand! That's not bad. A thousand of that. And then we can just go ahead and uh, nugget these guys in like so. Oh, we got to put it all into the system. And let's see here. I don't know why that's quite so loud, uh, but it is what it is. All right, these guys inside of there. There we go. So there's 130 blocks, 308. That means a grand total of how much all the modium do we make with that one deal over the weekend? 444. So that's a decent amount. All to, there we go. 
444 all the modium, and we have a bunch of the nuggets. Now, now, why did we want that much all the modium? This is the funny part, ladies and gentlemen. This is the reason why we did this. Let me show you. All the modium carrots. These guys right here, they provide you with just 10 hunger, but you get 160 sa sa uh, saturation. Um, XB Crafted popped into the stream on Friday and was telling me about these guys, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. But I figured, why don't we check it out and see what did we need to do in order to make that? And that's what we spent the entire, well, a majority of the stream on. We moved this guy over. Remember, we built this building back here. I copy pasted it over to this area. Um, we spent the first part of the stream getting like 30,000 marbles so we could move it over. Uh, and then the second part of the stream trying to make those carrots, figuring out we needed the essence and then we needed the, all the modium and then all of those things. So that's where we are now. Uh, and we have all this stuff. So it's very cool. We have tons and tons of stuff. Uh, but a couple of weird things happened over the weekend as well. You may notice that our unbelievable and amazing unobtainium spear is gone. Uh, I was AFKing over here in this room. Uh, I have mega torches to stop spawning in the area. I was standing right here and came back after several hours of, of AFKing and my all the modium spear was gone. It was really weird. Everything in my inventory was normal except the all the modium spear was gone and then this thing... This solid fisherman strainer was in my inventory. So I have no idea what happened, but we're missing a weapon now. Now we still have no wait, what? We still have 12 of those. Oh, I grabbed them by accident. All right. We still have over inside of here uh this guy, Dennis, remember? Uh sharpness six, scavenger three, beheading, sweeping edge, and indestructible, and looting five. So not a bad weapon for us to keep in the interim, but it's not as good as our spear was. Um, this guy, I think, is 75 attack damage. I think our spear was 160-something attack damage, so it was way, way better. Uh, for right now, we'll just keep this guy. I, I'm not going to work on that right now. We might make a better weapon um, during the stream uh, on Monday, so you guys will probably miss it. But, uh, yeah, we'll make a, a better weapon and get that going, so that will be GTGs. Now, uh, next thing that I want to try to do, and this is going to be a little bit technical, um, we need a way to figure out how to change this Inferium Essence into other Essences. Now, the way this works, which is kind of, kind of good, uh, is that when we look at these Essences, when you go up to the highest tiers, you can always put... Oh, wait, can you not do it with it? <laughs> you can always, but you can't. Uh, oh, all right. So from Supremium, yeah, you can always put, oh, there you can do it right there. Insanium can turn into four Supremium and then ba it back works backwards, right? Because four Supremium turns into an Insanium. So if we make all the way up to Insanium, we can craft backwards. We can craft down and break these down into their smaller pieces uh, really, really easily. Now, for for whatever reason, in the current version that I'm playing this pack in, the uh, infusion crystal doesn't work for automatic crafting in refined storage. So we can't soul speed. What did that? Hold on a sec. We'll check that out in a second. I don't know what soul speed is. Um, but we can't use this system to craft it. What happens is if I wanted to craft, say, two, I need two master infusion crystals. If I wanted to craft three of a thing or a thousand of a thing or 10,000 of a thing, I would need 10,000 master infusion crystals. That's just not going to work. Now, we can get around it a couple of different ways. And the master infusion crystals, by the way, they're not cheap. Uh, they take some premium essence. So they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, we could say if we had enough essence craft... A thousand of these, right? And then do a thousand at a time. But even a thousand at a time, when you're talking about 1.1 million, that's a huge pain in the butt. So I'm going to try to use this. Now, I don't, uh, I hope this works. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I've already played around with it a little bit. It's a little bit confusing. It's from RF Tools Utility, it's Crafter Tier 3. This allows us to set up automatic crafting recipes. Um, and then I can stack them so I can get one on top of the other on top of the other in one machine uh, I should be able to show you I think if I take and grab like a stack of that then I put this I don't have this set up the right way But if I go like that blah, 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 see it automatically made 16 prudentium blah, 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 and then automatically do you like the sound effect? Blah, 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 it automatically made uh, tertium essence but I'm having some issues with it. Like on this recipe, it pumps the Master Infusion Crystal out. So I'm not exactly sure how to use this. Now, it takes power as well. It still has power because I hooked it up to a, to something something for a second there and just moved it over. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to make this thing work. Right now, it's not working the way that I want it to. Um, and it's a little bit confusing because you have like all XC and there's different settings. I'm going to try to learn this and 
show you guys how to use it. I think I figured it out. <laughs> Surprised myself a little bit here. So uh, I got these guys set up. Check this out. Now, these settings are very important, and how you put them in are pretty important. I think on all these guys, we want them to be on all. Uh, all items and input slots are consumed. Uh, I do believe. And then every one except for the last one, the second setting is on result of crafting operation will stay in the input buffer. So the input buffer being this place right here, like not the output, but the input buffer isn't necessarily an input, but it's where the items stay when you put them in the system. So uh, it's kind of like it recycles it, right? So you put these in, it makes the next thing. They stay inside of here. It makes the next thing. They stay inside of here. You make the next thing. They stay inside of here all the way up to supremium. And then this should be output. So what I'm gonna do here, just to test this, I did I did an initial test. Let's go ahead and grab through. Let's just grab a bunch. Let's grab a bunch of those guys. Let's go inside of here. Let's shift click them in. Can I? There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, so something weird went on. It's got 44 inferium inside of. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, there must have been some sort of weird stuff things went on. All right, so it seems to have worked. Let me try this like maybe a, a different way so it looks a little bit more normal. Oh, and this soul speed book, by the way, just increases your walking speed on soul sand, by the way. That's what that does. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's try this over here again. Let's put this inside of here and let me just do like this. Bang. Weird. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some weird stuff going on here. Oh, that's odd. Why did it stop when I inputted them like that? It's got four of these guys in here. Oh, it's definitely something odd. That is very strange. Let me grab all of these. Let me put those back in. Oh, it's out of power. Lol! Yoink and yoink. All right, so there we got the seven Supremium Essence. This seems to be working quite nicely. Uh, speed mode fast, slow, fast. I guess fast and redstone ignored. All right, so I just hooked it up right over here to this like so. Um, this is all going to get moved up into the base when I get to that. But for right now, I do want to start processing this stuff. Um, all right, we have, we still have a decent amount of space here, but you got to figure like in this system, this is 512,000 items. So the essence we have right there wouldn't even fit over here. Uh, in this system, we have 7.4 million, but 4.2 million individual items. You know, that's one, that's 25% of everything we have in the system. This is another 25% for the netherrack because we don't have our compact storage deal going on over here so i do want to set this thing up but what i've got to figure out here is let's take a look really quickly this should be pretty in easy let me see we need importers i need those guys i need exporters i need these guys i need speed upgrades i need more than three i need six we'll make those guys i need stack upgrades i think i have a few of those Nope, uh, I got one. We're going to need two of those guys. I guess it doesn't really... Well, you know, we don't necessarily need that many, but all right. So these are all ready to rock and roll right there. Um, yeah, I hope this works because I'm not sure which side you have to input and export stuff from. Uh, I'm going to pop... Uh, 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 let's go up a little bit. So we'll grab a couple of cable too. Do I have some inside of here? I don't. All right, let me grab a couple of cable out of this guy these like that all right so let's see here if i were to go ahead and put an importer right here and then i want to filter that right so i'm just going to grab this and i only want to import supremium essence right can i put that back inside of there nice so i only want to import the supremium essence i'm going to put a stack upgrade and speed upgrades i don't, probably don't need the stack upgrade uh and then we're going to cable this like so now on this side i really hope this works on this side, we're going to want to add in this guy. We only want to put in the regular essence. I'm, a, I'm assuming there's going to be a problem with sides, but we'll see how this works. So in this side, we're only going to want to import that. We put the speed and those upgrades in. Uh, if my calculations are correct, and I do not believe they are. It's working! It's not exporting, though. Oh, well, the system's working. It's definitely making the Supremium Essence. Dude, how fast is it going? Let me see here. Oh, not that fast. I thought it would work faster than that. Holy crap. All right. So it's working. It's making the Supremium Essence. It's making it fairly quickly as well. It's funny because the inputting um, isn't working fast enough. We're actually gaining Inferium Essence. So what we can do, just to kind of edit that out, I think you can use this Remember. There we go, that worked. 
Uh, you can use this to remember and forget to remember this inventory so that it, it only keeps certain items in here. So you could put in like your your crystal and then the, your essences and then you can fill the rest of it with blocks so they can't get accidentally filled up. But what we have going on right here works fine too. If I put that in, I think we'll start to see it climb again. Yeah. There it goes. It starts to climb again. We pull that out. It goes a little bit slower. So that works fine. This guy definitely... Oh, is that why? No, that wasn't why. I accidentally had a speed upgrade in the importer. Uh, item types ignored redstone signal. So it, it probably pulls from a different side. Um, it probably won't pull from this side. And it doesn't seem to be working ridiculously fast. Uh, honestly, the way that it's working right now, it is going to take quite a long time for this thing to make all the essences. Um, it hasn't even processed 100,000 yet, which blows me away. We're still at 1 million, 1.1 million. That's crazy, man. It still hasn't processed hardly any. So it's a good system. It's working well. We just need to figure out how to pull items out of it. Once we do that, what if I, oh, I probably shouldn't do that. It'll probably start pulling everything out of the, of this part, I'm guessing. Uh, we could probably pull the items out of the bottom if I had to switch it up. That's what we would do. I don't really have a lot of space read over here right now. So we're just going to let this thing go. I guess what I can do is just periodically come over here and just dump it until we get it set up the correct way. Let me go ahead and drop that guy in there. Let's uh, put you back inside of here. All right. So, and our speed upgrade can go in there too. All right. So it's working. It's a thing. Um, I'm very excited because this is saving me a lot of clicking. My mouse is very happy. I figured it out, kind of. This is very strange. Let me show you this. So I'm pulling the Supremium Essence out now of the side with an importer with no filter. If I add Supremium Essence to the filter, it stops picking it up. Why? I do not know. <laughs> I don't know why that would be. When I take the, the filter out, yeah, it works. So it doesn't, I don't think it's pulling, I don't know, I can't tell actually if it's pulling this stuff out too. I don't think that this is, it is. Uh, if I go like so, yeah, this looks all about the same to me. I'm concerned that some of this is getting pulled out. You know what? I can actually test it. I can actually see right here. If we pop over here and then we type in essence, we should be able to see these numbers fluctuating if it was pulling them out as fast as it was putting them in. And I don't think that that's the case. So we're going to have to do this again for Prudentium Essence. We'll have to pop that stuff inside there as well. I actually could probably, well, we'll do it at the end. At the end, we could just change the filter on that side, and then we could put that other essence in as well. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's pulling in any of the other essences. It's just pumping out Supremium. So yeah, Supremium unleaded? Uh, I don't know. All right, so over here, what's the next order of business? Well, this whole thing's got to get out. We got to move this, right? It's all got to come down. We got to move our system up inside of this. Now, I was just kind of taking a look at it and thinking about how I want this to work uh, and what I'm thinking that we're going to do is probably right here where this floor is that's where the floor is going to be over on this side so I'm thinking if we pop over here and just take a look I think that's about right right like so this is where the floor would be we'd pop that guy off this is probably the first floor block like that I think we're actually one too low right now yeah that's probably not it I think probably more like that guy that's probably even, and I can just measure it real quick to see. We could probably just go like so, old school, and bring this over and see where that lies. So it is one high, actually. I was right the first time. So we could pop that down like so, and then this is where the floor is going to be. So we'll vein mine these guys out of there like that. So right here is where our first floor is going to be. Now, the thing about that is there's a part of me that wants to put it rec directly in the middle. And you know what? Maybe we do. Now that I think about it, maybe we do put it in the middle because I want there to be a large opening in the structure that I can fly in and out of really easily. We'll probably end up putting an elevator down below so we can shoot up really quickly. And I did a little bit of testing with the elevators uh, in this mod pack, in this version of this mod pack. There doesn't seem to be any range, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. So if there's no range, let me show you. Let me explain to you what that means for us. It's kind of amazing. Uh, we got elevators inside of here. There's two of them right there. So if I pop down over to this guy, where would that be? Right here, like so. And then if we go all the way up to the top, we should be able to place this guy right here. And then now, elevator go up, elevator go down. Look how far we go, man. This is crazy. Yoink. Dude. Wait, wait. And it's like instantaneous. 
it's unbelievable and amazing. So we can just go ahead and uh, set that elevator anywhere we want to. And we'll be able to go, you know what I mean, from the absolutely the bottom to any place we want up and down vertically. Oh, I think you can actually set them up to go left and right as well. You can set up directional too, I think, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, so we can set an elevator down there and squirt up inside of there. But I'm thinking, at first I was thinking of a level right here. Then maybe we'll go in the middle. Let me play around with it a little bit. Uh, I'm just kind of content to do a little bit of playing around with where my floors are while this thing does all of its stuff because this is just unbelievable and amazing. I'm so excited that we got that to work. I'm about to tear this system down and not everybody out there in TV land is as knowledgeable about what's going on with everything. Uh, so I do want to just give you guys a little bit of a heads up of how I'm going to do this. So remember, we have things importing, things exporting. This is just a disaster area over here, mostly because we were trying to fit so much stuff into a small place. And as you can see, things start to sprout from the edges because we can't fit it all in such a small place. Now, uh, all right, so we're going to tear this guy down. Now, what we're going to need to do to make sure this is going to happen correctly, we got to pull all these different things out of these machines. Um, you can, mm, I don't know if you can yurt this stuff. Um, I don't think you really should yurt any of it. Uh, I would take everything apart, uh, and pull everything out before you do anything. So I have this guy over here and I can yurt this. That's not a big deal, but all of these different crafting recipes, I want to pull all of these guys out. Uh, uh, and it causes lag, I think. Yeah, from tearing these guys apart. I'm not sure exactly why. But when you pull the crafting deals in and out of your inventory, it causes all sorts of lag to happen. So we're going to pull these out individually and put them all inside of there. We're also going to pull each one of our storage disks out individually uh, and put them all inside of some sort of a storage. Then we'll move the storages up and then reassemble everything. It shouldn't be that hard. See, that happened really quickly that time. Whoa, what do we got going on here? Excuse me. I don't know if I need any of your stuff and things here. What do you got for sale there, bud? Whoa. Wow. Dude. Yeah. Sharpness 10. Sharpness 10 is valuable. I need diamond axes and 45 emeralds. Dude, I will take that just to get the sharpness 10. Hold on a second here. I got to make diamond axes, which I uh, like that. Let's go ahead and make these two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe ten of those guys. And then emeralds. How many of you guys are in the... We got all sorts of emeralds, too. Hey, why don't you hand over some of those Sharpness 10 books there, big guy? How do we even do this? Arr, yeah, give me that right there. Let's do this. Let's continue on our adventure. Oh, I think I can click that. Oh, he won't do it. You're, you're too dumb? That's it. Just one book is all I get. Why do you hate me so much, game? He just had the one. Dude, I wanted like 10 of those. Anything? Sorry. Thanks. Thanks for all the stuff things. All right. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. Pull all the things out of here, move them in there, move it all up. All right. Here we go. We got the system set up up top here, and I'm playing around with how I want to configure it. Because we're going to have a harder time hiding wires because of no facades, uh, we're just going to try to use some of this and, and make it as part of the build. So we'll make it a little bit technologically advanced. I set the crafter up over here, just processing all the stuff and things automagically. It kind of looks like a dude with he some headphones on. It's kind of neat. But I still haven't decided what I want to do with cabling. I could always make a false floor. I kind of like having this so you can see through. Um, I think that's a really cool part of it. So I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do this. But for right now, this is it. We'll have some import uh, chest. Oh, hello. Are you even a... Thing. Oh man, that thing's super full. That's coming from our farm. I completely forgot about that. Well, uh, importer, let me see here. Let's go ahead and grab one of these guys just for right now. I didn't really actually want to have this set up yet, but I think we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, upgrades. Let's grab you guys and then one of those guys. I think this should probably work just like that. And then that should be keeping up. Feels a good team. All right, that guy's good to go. All right, so we'll squirt those back inside of there like that. But yeah, I don't know how I want to have the setup, but it's probably going to be exposed. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, so that guy's going over there. So what I want to take a look at next, which is going to be very interesting. Let's go ahead and grab some glass out of here like this. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of those guys. And then do I still have this set up like so? Oh, baby, right here like that. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Do you like that sound? Ugh. All right. All right. Let's go over here. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, the walkway's over. This is probably what they're going to look like. I go like that. Ugh. All right. And then this is this building over inside of here. You guys, we're making a thing right now. Let's go like this and then like that. Then over here, that opens up. Oh, it's on the edge? No way. That's weird. 
All right, sweet. So this happens to just be right exactly on the edge of this. That means that our walkway into this building is going to have to be a little bit further back, probably, or something. We'll have to play around with that a little bit. That's very, very interesting. Same thing over here. Yeah, of course. We got. I'm just making sure everything's lined up. So those guys like so. And then over here, this would bring us into the next building like this. So it's very cool. I'm very excited about that. That looks pre pretty good. And uh, yeah, it looks great up there too. All right, so we have to add in or think about here how we're going to do this. Now, I made this opening right here. I think I need to change this. I just started playing around with some Imperium blocks. And this there's a blue alabaster, uh, which is pretty easy to make. I'm not really a huge fan of it. Uh, I think what we need to do actually is see how this goes up. And it goes up on each one of these where there's two here. This goes up one. What we should do most likely is pop that off and then go like that. That will look a lot better, I think. Like that, like that, and then like that. That probably would be a better... Oh, yeah, it's way better already. So we'll change the shape of this for sure. And then we got to work on these side tunnels here uh, to get over to the other bases. And then let me just pop back in here. I, there's part of me that wants to build something where we would be able to stand outside but i kind of like how this is just open like that i don't think it needs like a a porch or anything like that that sticks out from it i think it's cool if it's just open in this way like so so oh the other thing we got to take a look at doing this down here all oh, dude these freaking rat guys sometimes these guys have things let me just double check rat cages rats do wrong that's right eat all your food because it's over for you uh we got to take this all out here too this thing needs to go away it was kind of a cool idea but it kind of sucks so i'm actually going to pop those off and then what i want to see here is if this will automatically become water again that's all good to go. I want to make sure that we get it nice and filled back in correctly. Oh, sweet. All right, so it worked perfectly. Uh, a little bit low on food. Dude, another rat guy? They're everywhere. I wonder if there's something we can build to stop these guys. Santa rats! I wonder if there's something we can build to stop those guys from spawning. So, uh, yeah, all these blocks need to go away. We had to make sure that's in. And then we'll build this back up, and then we're going to put on our elevators as well. So, playing around with some bridge ideas, I think this is the one that I like. There are actually bridges in this pack. So, if you look under bridge like so, there's all sorts of different cool ones. And I think if you were going for, like, a wooden base or something like tree houses or something like that, there'd be all sorts of really cool designs that you could pick. Um, this one's white, but it's birch. I think it's only white because uh, uh, I think that this actually takes textures from your texture pack and imports them. That's why some of these are blue when they're really oak, because my oak is blue. But anyway, this is pretty much the Iron Bridge, the only one that's kind of modern looking. And it's a little bit small. It doesn't really kind of look like a thing. It doesn't really seem to match too much, you know what I mean? Um, I also was thinking maybe with these walkways, we'll put maybe another support structure in, maybe up this way and then down there. I think that would look really cool, like a diagonal support. But I do not think this is the answer. Uh, I just don't think those are beefy enough or really techy enough or they don't really match what we got going on. So I started playing around over here with this, and I think something like this is cool. I like that it's open, but also when you pop back, it doesn't really have a lot of structure like that. So maybe we'll put some glass in there just to make it look more blue, and then it will match the build a little bit better. These materials need to be redone, uh, and it kind of looks like a face. It's kind of like, like a big mouth. What if we just put like an eyeball there and there? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That looks great. Uh, we'll have to fix that later on. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with that either. This needs maybe a different shape. Uh, I do remember we put uh, down over here, if I can get there, this diamond shape like that. So maybe we'll do something with that again up here. We're trying to keep the hexagon theme. It's just hard to do them small like this. So I don't think we're going to go with that. But we're getting there, man. This thing got more. You know, what? I can't even believe it. I looked down at the clock and I was like, wow, it has been such a long time. That I've been doing seven things. We didn't. It feels like we didn't do a lot, but we. I did. I swear to God, it's been like four and a half hours. I've been doing the stuff. Um, but the biggest thing that's going on is this guy right here, the crafting tier three. It's moving hard. Oh, how many we got left? 147,000 essence. Pretty damn good. Now I think I can manually grab these guys. I wonder if this is gonna work. If I was to squirt all you inside of there, like this. Is that going to make it all really fast? Yeah, yeah. So we can, and then we can always add it in here too. We don't want to add it until it's all done. We don't want to add this guy in. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we could do it right now. Let's just double check and see how this works. If I put that guy inside of there. Yeah, it's working. It's climbing down. Either way will probably work. For right now, we'll just go like so. So yeah, we're processing all that essence into Supremium. And how much do we have? 4,000! 
Ladies and gentlemen, 4,000 Supremium Essence is a lot. Finally, we have a lot of stuff and things. Well, I got to say, even though it doesn't feel like we got a lot done today. Hey, ah, I got a Santa's hat on? How did that happen? I found it from a rat. Uh, it doesn't feel like maybe we got a lot done. We definitely did. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was fun hanging out with you again today. Make sure if you had a good time, don't forget, show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Uh, big shouts to everybody who chooses to support on Patreon. You guys really keep the videos coming, and I appreciate your support very, very much. And again, thank you so much for the stuff and things. Be with you!